Hello everybody, I'm Jack, and welcome to a tutorial series of short videos explaining the steps needed to create transactions and native assets on Cardano via the command line tools. In this tutorial series, I'll be taking a look into the basics of native assets and how Cardano supports them. The aim is to give you the basics of setting up a node and making use of the CLI and native asset concepts, so things like the extended UTXO a little bit more clearer, for example. I decided to create this to help me understand how this particular area all works and documenting the processes, but to also pass on to others who may be interested. I've broken up the tutorial up into pieces so that you can play them all in sequence or you can just jump into a particular step. Totally up to you. To support this tutorial series, I've documented the steps that I've linked below in the description. You can use that documentation to work along with the videos. So to start, we'll be covering a bit of theory by getting a basic understanding of Cardano's extended UTXO model. And you're probably thinking, but I came here to mint tokens, not learn theory. Don't worry, we'll do that. However, it's going to be a lot easier for you to understand the steps when you understand the transaction and accounting model of Cardano. Learning the fundamental concepts of transactions will give you a mental framework for understanding the material in this series. Otherwise, I'm just going to look like a guy talking a bunch of mumbo jumbo. Next, we'll be setting up our tools. You'll need some basic computer skills, but nothing too hard. I'll then mean using the Cardano command line interface or CLI, teaching you how to navigate CLI to build our first transaction on the testnet. We'll be using the testnet to do everything. It's a playground for minting and transferring tokens and ADA, and makes it safe to try things out and make mistakes. It doesn't matter if you muck up, because the tokens you're using are just testnet versions, not the real thing. The steps, however, are identical when using the main net. Just to change a few parameters, that's all. So when you're ready to mint a new native asset or to create an advanced transaction on the mainnet, you'll be able to do it with absolute confidence. So once the testnet is up and you're comfortable with making transactions, we'll get into the mindset of minting assets. We'll mint them, transfer them, and burn them. Just the basics. I'll also talk about minting assets with the addition of structuring your metadata and IPFS. I might do some bonus chapters later where I go over non-fungible versus fungible assets, multi-signature scripts, advanced metadata, and maybe some advanced mini policies, and might dive into a little bit about the basics of IPFS. Just touching on how these concepts, is, co uh, concepts are represented in Cardano. So by the end of this, you'll probably hopefully, hopefully have a good understanding of Cardano's UTXO model, if you haven't already and you'll be able to navigate the CLI via the command line interface and set up a relay node and create transactions and mint all sorts of native assets to your heart's content. So with that all out of the way, let's get on this, shall we?